Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 279 of Constructing Los Angeles. How is everybody doing? We are back on this city today, ready to continue to make some progress. And today I want to work on the Four Biomes Hotel. I haven't worked on this build in a while on CLD, and this is one of the four major projects that I still have to finish here on the world. And for some reason, these chunks are just not loading in right now. I am not sure why, but anyway, these are this is one of the four big bills that I have to complete going along with the theater, the hospital, and then the townhouses. Those are like the last things I have to finish up. So I wanted to kind of alternate, like I said last episode, just to kind of, uh, you know, that was, those are the only things I really need to work on. So we're going to see a lot of that for the rest of the series, but... Um, I'm just going to kind of go through and, you know, work on something this episode and this build and then switch to something else. Maybe I'll, you work on the theater next episode or something like that. We'll see. But just to give you guys a quick update on this building, I haven't worked on it on a CLD episode in a while, like I said, but I have made some pretty good progress on it uh, on my streams a couple of times. I was able to put in a staircase design, which isn't completely done yet, but it's getting there. It's kind of just like a spiraling staircase that goes up to the first level right here, which is the pool room. This floor is finished, and you guys have seen this many times before. This is probably going to end up being the coolest floor on the building, just because it's just really open view with all the windows, and it has the cool, uh, you know, prismarine ocean monument, ocean biome theme for the pool. So I really like that room. That one's going to stay exactly the same. And if we keep going up the staircase here go up and around the corner. This is the desert floor, which I will probably make some changes to. I have a couple of ideas that I wanna try. I don't know if I'm gonna try them on camera necessarily, but um, they do, some interesting ideas. I, I'm thinking about changing up the theme of it a little bit. And that brings me to kind of a topic that I wanna get to. And that's you know how I should plan out the rest of these floors because we have four biomes. That's kind of the theme of the hotel. That's not really because I wanna add four biomes necessarily. It's more because I want to, it's kind of just a ring off four seasons, right? That's really like the main, uh, you know, reasoning behind the name for this place. So, um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how I actually want to approach furnishing this because I could do four biomes, like exactly. I could have ocean biome here, first floor, and then the second floor here can be a desert biome. The next one could be snow biome right here. This could be snow biome, and then the next one up here could be... I don't know, um, like Plains Biome or something like that. And that could be the four floors for um, the biome themes. Maybe I'll do more, um, possibly. And then my controller is disconnected. Let me get some new batteries. Anyway, back to what I was saying um, with the biome themes. You know, this one could be another biome here because this is another big floor that I could add some more, um, you know, rooms to, I guess. But I also want to add other stuff to this building. I want to add... A floor for breakfast which could be this floor I want to add maybe a spa or something like that I want to add um, a floor for maybe like a I don't know like some uh, stores or something like that conference floor all of that stuff I want to add in so um, as you guys know as you get higher up just because of the way the the building is laid out on the exterior it gets a little bit well it gets less and less surface area per floor right until you get up to the last two levels here where there's literally no space at all. So these last two levels, I'm just going to ignore. Um, I'm not worried about these at all for episodes. The Really the main thing behind these floors is that they're just going to be kind of like maintenance floors for the employees, I guess. Like there'll be, um, you know, stuff like that on these last two floors here. I was thinking about doing possibly like an observation deck or something like that up here on this top level. Just to give like... A reason for it to even be here because it's really only just so it looks a little cooler on the exterior there's really no reason for me to have a room up here so maybe this could be like an observation deck possibly i could honestly even work on that right now if i wanted to probably wouldn't be that hard to create something like that for this last floor up here that way you know somebody could come up here and just get a nice view of the city because this is the second tallest building in los angeles behind well it's a tie for well, I guess it's technically third since it's a tie for first over here with the Eclipse Towers. So uh, this one being the second tallest or third tallest, however you want to look at it. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to have a nice little view from up here. And plus, th this one's a little bit more centralized. So as you can kind of see, as stuff is loading in, I mean, this is Xbox 360. So it's not going to load in as good on it as it would on Xbox One. But, you know, 
if you go around the uh, perimeter of this floor, you can get most of the city because it's pretty centralized. You know, we're almost at the middle of the map here with this four biomes. That's a raw fish, not a map. Um, yeah, so, well, not almost, but we're in the middle of the city more or less. So, you know, if you come over here, you can get a view of the Eclipse Towers. You can get a view of the Grandiose Apartments over there. You can also get a view of this area of the map. So lots of stuff that you could check out. Kind of makes me want to actually build this right now because I think that would be kind of fun. So let me just, let me try some stuff out here see if i can come up with anything cool because i i want to say that this is a good idea to kind of create a an observation deck up on this floor it would give this floor a purpose right because it's so small there's really nothing up here that i could put down like there's just no space for really anything so doing something like this could actually work so i'm going to start off just by replacing all these walls here with some black glass and that goes all the way around the other side as well. And I'm just going to put in some openings, maybe some doors. And then I'm going to it kind of expand these outer parts here to create balconies. And I think this could actually look pretty nice. So let, let me just get this put in here. See what I'm working with. And I think this could be a cool idea to add to the four biomes hotel. I want to add some sort of directory on the lobby, which uh, tells you what is on each floor. So let's say like floor... Floor 1, uh, well, it would be like Floor L, which would be the lobby. Floor 1, pool area, Floor 2, 3, 4, and 5, maybe it would be room serve or rooms. Um, floor 6, maybe conference room, Floor 7, breakfast, Floor 8, shops, Floor 9, blah, blah, blah. Like, depending on how many floors there are. And that's something that I would definitely want to do. So, let me just do that. And now we have, like, a nice big glass thing in this room. I'm going to go ahead and put down some some doors here. I think I'm just going to go with regular oak doors. And, you know, I can maybe switch those out later. But I do like oak doors still for this kind of stuff just because it has the glass in it. All right. So as far as balconies are concerned, well, how exactly would I want to do this? I could use some slabs. I could use some stairs. I could even expand it out with actual blocks here as well. So my actual quartz blocks. I honestly might try all three and see which one I like the most. So let's start off with quartz slabs. So I'll run this across like that. And then maybe I should... Well, first off, I'm definitely going to need some sort of railing here so people don't just, you know, jump off. That, that would be bad. Or fall off or anything like that. So let me just try something like that. Okay, I just... That was poor misplacement right there. Try something like that. That's idea number one. So you come out here, beautiful view of the city. I could also expand this all the way around the corner. That's another idea that I have. So here's idea number two. And that would be basically to do the exact same thing except with stairs. So I'll expand that out like that, break these blocks here, and then replace them back with full blocks. That way it's the same kind of thing as the slabs, but it's just, you know, the stairs are expanded. I think I'm going to prefer that over the first option for sure. So something like that. And then my last idea would be to do some, well, basically the same exact thing that I just did, except expand it and just make it go out a little bit further than normal. So um, let's try this. Just basically the exact same thing, except, you know, like I said, it's just going to be one block out further, so you have a little bit more of space to walk out here. So it would be like that instead. Um, honestly, I don't really have a preference. They're all kind of okay. Really, they are. Um, if I were to choose, I'd probably like this one the most, which is basically the same thing as this one. It's just expanded out one extra block. So maybe what I do is expand this out around the corner here and we'll do this this will be our our balcony we'll see if this is going to be a little bit too wide if it is we can knock it down one block which is fine but i think uh the slab idea probably is not going to work so let me switch this out with some full blocks here going all the way around the corner pretty much breaking all of this and replacing it with full blocks of quartz and i think this could look pretty good so uh, the Four Biomes Hotel, guys, is, is really old. It's been around for a long time. It was it was actually one of the first skyscrapers that was built. So um, the design on it is obviously a lot of a lot of uh, white and gray. That was used to be the thing I used to do all the time. 
I still do it a lot, but not as much as I used to. Like, if, it, if this was 2014 Dan still, like, the, literally every single block in the city would be just light gray wool and gray wool. So, trying to expand off that a little bit. Um, it's a little bit too late for some of these older skyscrapers, but, you know, I'm trying my best to, to you know, mix it up as much as I can. But there's our little observation deck. I actually kind of like it. I actually like it a lot. I think it looks great from a distance. It just kind of it definitely looks like an observation deck from a distance. So let me take a look at it from up here. I think we'll definitely keep it with this amount of space to walk. This is nice. Um, I'm, I'm honestly interested to see what this would look like on Xbox One when I can load the chunks further away. So you get a pretty darn good view of the city here from up here you can get the entire river area probably even a little bit of the stadium from here honestly that the xbox one render distance is a lot better than 360 all right well anyway let's let's figure out how we want to support this because we can't just have it floating um I, I could put some support beams down through here with some quartz and this is just a simple concept that i've been doing forever so this could just work here as well just kind of some support beams like that do a couple more on this side and just call it a day uh there we go and then we'll do two more right here. And, okay. I think that should cover it. So let's see, how is this going to look from a distance? Is that going to still look good? I think it will. Oh yeah, that just supports it nicely. So there you go, guys. Figured out a use for that top floor. Observation deck for, for biomes. I, I definitely like it. The one thing I have to do, though, I need to switch out that block. That is not black stained glass. I spotted it from like a mile away. It's hard to tell up close, but you can tell from a distance between them. There we go. All right, so we have a purpose for this floor. That's good. I'm going to put some lighting in the ceiling, though. Let me throw down some some sea lanterns. You, you guys know I've been using the sea lanterns a lot lately. So I'll throw down a couple of those. And then maybe I can switch out this floor for some dark oak wood, since that's the, the theme of the first floor. So we'll do that. I'll switch this out, and I think we'll be good. I think we have a nice little uh, use for this floor. I I honestly thought this was just going to be like utility or something like that or maintenance, but now we actually have something cool up here. So now we got to figure out what we want to do with the uh, with every other floor. I think what I really should be doing though, before I even start building anything else, is mark every floor and just get a, an idea of what I'm going to be doing on each floor because I, I, I want to make sure that I have this thing organized. Since it is a pretty big building, it's, it's one of the taller skyscrapers. It's got the second most floors probably behind uh you know the eclipse towers which is really there's no competition with those all right so we have that put in i could put it like maybe like some benching or something like that out here that could be pretty cool i don't know if i'm gonna do it right now but i could come back in later and work on something like that but anyway let's drop back down to the ground level sorry if you guys are getting dizzy here my bad so here we go we have the ground level which this is a nice lobby i don't really need to make too many changes to this other than adding a you know some sort of uh directory like, I'll probably put it on this wall here in between the waterfalls, and that'll just, like, lead to each floor. So I'll probably put them, like, on this, like, sign in this wall saying, you know, which floor is which. But just, uh, you know, let's let's figure out what we're going to do on each floor. So we have the pool area. I want to do four floors of, of uh, hotel rooms, okay? So that's one. So I'm, what I'm just going to do is quickly mark some stuff with the signs. So I'm going to do... Uh, I'm just gonna do some abbreviations here just so it's easy. So I'm just gonna do hotel or let's do hotel room floor two HRF two So that's floor three. All right, and we're gonna do two more of these We're gonna have four floors of this one representing each biome. I think that will work uh, HRF three Okay, and then we have to do one more of these on this floor. So this is gonna be Ha, or a hotel, almost said hospital. Hospital room floor four. Okay, then that's the floor five overall. So that's our that's good for our floors for our um, guests. And then up here, I'm probably gonna do. Um, this is gonna be a CR, which stands for conference room. So we'll do that, or I guess I could do CC convention center, but whatever. Conference room is fine. Um, and then up here, we're gonna do. This is where they get a little bit smaller, so I'm going to do breakfast here. So I'll just do, I'll just, I'll just write it out. I don't really care at this point. I'm already in the menu. So we'll do breakfast here. And then, okay, we got that put in. So that's a little, those, this is where the floors get a little bit smaller. How many floors do we have left to work with? We have one, two, three, 
and then this one's a small one. So we have three more floors we can add stuff to. Uh, right here, what should we add? Th th again, these floors are so small, so I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. I just don't know what's going to fit in this space to just make it, like, viable. Um, what I'll probably do is put down... I'm going to put down spa here for... Uh, just, just as an idea. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to fit something like that. That's what's really been bugging me about this ho hotel. I just don't know what to add on these top floors. Uh, I'm going to do shops on this floor. So we'll put shops down. Not really sure how I'm going to fit them. Again, I might redesign some of the floors a little bit. Make them a little bit bigger. Because again, there's really no space on these floors. And then we have one more floor here that's um, this size. And honestly, I have no clue what to put here. So I'm probably just going to come up with that idea later because I don't have an idea for it yet. And then this right here is going to be, I'm just going to put down like uh, utilities or something. So just you, <laughs> that'll work. All right. And then this floor up here is what we just worked on, the observation deck, which I like. Okay. So let's drop back down to the third floor here. If I can figure out which floor that is, if I can actually not, not get stuck on every floor. All right, here we go. So this is going to be the second floor of rooms. So this floor I want to do as a snow biome. So let's get some snow, obviously. That would make a lot of sense. All right. Um, so how do we want to do a snow biome? I'm thinking uh, light blue wool, and I'm thinking snow. I can't even remember where snow blocks are. Like, where do, where do we even keep those nowadays? I don't use them ever. Here we go. So what, what does a snow biome have? It has It has snow. <laughs> And it has, uh, I guess, spruce leaves. So maybe I can do a spruce wood floor with snow walls and then a trim of light blue to kind of represent the sky, maybe. And then I'll use a lot of spruce leaf bushes to kind of match that ever evergreen feel. So um, let me go ahead and do that. And let's get this floor put in here for the hallway. Uh, so this has been like a tricky concept doing a floor of different colors on every level because I have to make sure that I don't interfere with some of the stuff that's supposed to be the same color. So the elevator shaft, you know, I'd, I would like it to be the same color all the way through. It's been a little bit tricky to keep it like that because of like the double stack, but I've been managing, so it's coming together pretty good. But I would say out of the four final projects that I have to do on this world with the townhouses, the hotel, finishing up the hospital, and the theater those are probably four of the hardest builds on the world believe it or not they might not be the biggest i mean some of them are pretty large but i think it's there's a reason why i'm they're the last like things i have to do because i probably looked at them and was thinking to myself you know those are going to be pretty tough builds i'm probably gonna have to save those for last so that's probably why i did i just always do that i always save the hardest stuff for last i don't know why i do that but um yeah, I, I think we had a question of the day a few episodes ago, or it might have been last episode, where I was like, what was the hardest build you've done? Like, <laughs> these are probably up there, honestly, with this. I think I mentioned a few of these, but I mean, Four Biomes Hotel has got to be top five. This, this building is going to be complicated with just how small the interior is. It looks so big on the outside, but it's really not that big. I feel like a hotel, it seems like you can't really do skyscraper hotels that effectively in Minecraft, just because there's really no way to do the proportions properly. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try my best. You know, if I was going to do a hotel in Minecraft and make it really good, what I'd probably end up doing is, I guess, making it really wide. That would that'd probably be what I'd do. So I'm going to start off here with just a lining of snow. Get this put in. See how this looks. And then I'll decide where I want to put this trim of, of blue. I'm really not so sure yet. So we got our snow biome floor. Might put the trim of blue on the top here, honestly. This could be the best spot for it. So maybe it represents the sky a little bit. I don't know. Uh, we'll try replacing these blocks here. But luckily, I can do that here in the corner. So we'll do that. I don't know if I like the blue trim up there. I might drop it down a couple of blocks here. Put it here instead. Because I just don't know if I like it there. Okay, and then... Oh, you know what I could do, actually? This is another option. I could make the ceiling blue to represent the sky. And then I could do, like, a trim of a different color block. Maybe, like, some spruce wood or something like that. Or just, like, maybe a darker color wood. 
that could work as well. Um, let me just kind of get this started though, because I wanted. I don't know if the blue matches the snow biome very well, um, but we'll see. So let me put down some some quartz stairs here. So these are the two floors on this level, and it's like there's only two floor. There's only two rooms on this floor. It's just crazy. So let me put down some Danville's anvils. We're gonna put one right here. And then this this matches the the snow pretty nicely because of the spruce leaves. You always find the spruce trees in this biome. All right, so that's good. And then I'll probably put a table here in the middle. Uh, what should I do the table out of? Probably spruce wood. That would make a lot of sense. Um, let me go ahead and place this down. There and there and there. And we'll put something on that table later on. But this is going to be the theme for this floor. Um, the thing is, do I want to have it go around the corner here through the elevator. I think I did that on the previous level. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that all the way through. I think it's probably a good idea for me to do that. But we'll see, we'll see. So, um, and here though, we're gonna have pretty much the same theme. I'm gonna continue the snow going all the way through and that's gonna be kind of like the biome theme for each floor. Again, it's not like, I don't think it's an amazing idea per se. I think it is a, well, I think it's a cool idea. I don't know like how well I'm executing it, but I think that it does help with the theme of the of the world. I don't know if the blue fits though. I, I, I definitely think that I might want to choose a different color here instead of blue to match the snow biome theme. Uh, maybe I could use green because you do see a little bit of grass in the snow biomes. The snow biomes are pretty pretty barren, so there's not really a whole lot of colors other than the snow. We'll see though what I can come up with. Let me just get started with this. Um, honestly, maybe I just go with no trim of blue. Just go with complete snow. That I mean, that could work as well. I definitely do like where I'm going with the floors. And I do like the idea of making the ceilings blue. So uh, we'll see what I come up with. But with that, guys, I'm going to pretty much be wrapping up today's episode. Working on four biomes hotel. Just trying to get this thing planned out a little bit better. Since it's a little bit challenging based on how I built it on the exterior. So um, just... I've said this time and time again. Make sure that you plan out your exteriors and your interiors together when you're doing skyscrapers or any build. It's just going to help you out in the long run. So I'll keep on working on this thing. I'll probably check in on this build on my streams uh, as when I when I get a chance. But it's one of the four things that I'm working on to get done here in Los Angeles. You know, to finish up the world on 360. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been Dan Lanks. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode of CLD. I believe this was episode 279. So next episode could very well be a recap. I'm going to have to check the last 20 episodes to see how much I've completed and to see if it's worth me doing a recap episode. So I will go through and see if that's uh, if that's something I need to do. And if not, then I'll just continue onward with normal episodes and maybe we'll do a recap on 290 instead. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been Dan Lags. Leave a question of the day in the comment section below if you want to leave a good one for next episode. I'll go through the comments and find one that's cool and give this video a like if you did enjoy guys and i'll see you on the next one peace out